Hello, I'm Steven Taylor, personal trainer and aquatics instructor at the Wellness Center at Baptist Hospital in Nashville. Here's how to prepare to participate in aquatics exercise. The materials that you will need to participate in a water aerobics class include certain kinds of apparel and footwear. Let's talk about these in a little bit more detail. Before we get into the specific equipment, let's make sure that you understand that you can participate in aquatics exercise no matter your size, shape, or fitness level. Many people feel intimidated or self-conscious about how they look in a swimsuit or whether they have enough fitness or ability to participate. I'm here to tell you that you do have the ability to participate. No one's going to be judging you or evaluating your size or shape when you participate in a water aerobics class. Any good class is going to be warm, welcoming, and you'll soon forget about any self-consciousness you may have had. Also remember that aquatics exercise is not the same as swimming. It is not necessary that you are able to swim or tread water nor are you required to put your face or head into the water. In fact, all the water classes that I teach are in water that ranges from three to five feet in depth. That should be comfortable for almost anyone to participate. Hopefully that has some of your fears alleviated about attending a water aerobics program. Next, let's talk about some of the apparel and footwear that you'll need to participate. Step one is get a comfortable fitting swimsuit. No matter your size or shape, there are companies that make swimsuits that are comfortable to wear for aquatics exercise and come in stylish and conservative or flattering styles. So you may need to get online or do a little shopping, but you should be able to find a swimsuit that works for you. A water aerobics class typically involves walking from a locker room facility or changing room to the pool. I also recommend getting a robe or a bathrobe that you can wear as a cover up until you get in the water. You'll also want some sandals or shoes to wear during that walk from the locker room or the changing room into the pool area. Some people like to do water aerobics with special water shoes or a water sandal. Other people do it in their bare foot. This is left up to your own personal preference. But what about my hair? Will participating in water exercise mess my hair up? Well, I don't have any hair, so I don't have to worry about that. But a lot of people who do water aerobics do care about their hair and they don't want to get their hair wet. Again, it's not necessary to put your head in the water or get your hair wet, but there is sometimes some splashing. The solution here is to get a water cap or a cover-up for your hair that will keep any errant splashes of water from getting on your hair and wrecking your hairstyle. The final piece that I always recommend is to have a water bottle or juice bottle on the deck of the pool so while you're exercising vigorously, if you get thirsty, you can take a little sip. It's also probably a good idea to have a little snack or a juice drink or something along these lines in your locker or in your exercise bag so you have a snack ready as soon as you're done with your exercise session. I hope this little description has alleviated some of your fears about participating in a water aerobics class. Anytime we do a new activity, it can be scary at first, but just go through this checklist and get the items required to participate and you'll be participating and feeling great in no time at all.